big is happening over there, and I'm gonna check that out today. 320 baht? Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Live Travel Asia, where we show you what it's like living and traveling in Asia. So right now, I'm actually only five minutes away from my condo because I just finished work. It's a Saturday. I'm a little bit tired, but on the way up, I saw some happening over by the Oasis Outdoor Arena. And I checked the website and then they have what's called a cat radio foodie ball. So it's gonna be all the top Thai bands and you're also gonna have food. So I'm like, you really can't go wrong. I'm hungry. The entrance is only 300 baht. So I'm gonna check it out. Okay, so it's actually quite loud. I'm not sure if uh, I should have brought my lavalier mic. I might have to just narrate over everything. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and check out the semicircle of all the food vendors and sort of see what's happening and choose whatever I think is the best out of all of them after I make a circle and show you guys what's here. Yeah, noodles, popcorns. So it just sort of feels like a night market so far. Good desserts. Chop and shoot. All right, so we've got some nice seasoned fries over here. Okay, I, I don't know if, what they're doing, but he's very intently videoing them. Must mean it's special. What are you making? Bubble waffle with yes. ice cream. Oh, Mayu would love this. Oh, look at that. Red. Oh, yeah, it's only 30 baht. I might be making frequent stops to this location. Oh, very traditional Thai treats, but then they did put these little crab things in there. Okay, so. I think I found the winner right here. What's up? What's up? I saw you torching that, doing it legit. Thank you. I mean, like, you know, I didn't have charcoal grill, so I want to give everyone the <laughs> Yeah. I will probably return back to here after I checked everywhere else. Okay, so far it doesn't seem like the prices are outrageous or anything. Everything is quite reasonable. I don't know what's going on, but check that out. Mostly men. I can only assume that they're cute uh, girls. I'm sorry? Uh, this is Sweet 16, man. Sweet 16. This is I don't of Thailand by Yoshimoto Entertainment. Sweet 16? Sweet 16. Sweet. Oh yeah? They're Thai idols. Yes. Oh! This man was really, really kind to uh, let me know what this was about. Sweet 16. They're Thai idols. I'll show you who they are. You're going to be more interested in seeing them. Hello! Hey! They are making... What are they making? They're making... Frosties. Nice! Oh my god, there's more. Okay, so they're rotating. So those girls over there are making smoothies. They're resting. You're tired. <laughs> okay, they're tired. And they are... They're making ice cream. Much care. <laughs> now, what are you saying? I'll have 25 of them, please. <laughs> I want 27 of whatever you're selling. <laughs> wow, she's even got jokes. <laughs> Hi. 
All right. Oh, that's chaos over here. I'm getting out. I'm like sweating. Oh, too much body heat everywhere. Oh, look at that food. Mother Shaker. I really like the name. That's clever. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the mother shaking <laughs> muscles over there. She was shaking, we shake. <laughs> Alright, take care guys. Alright, I think that sort of wraps up everything they have here. You might notice I'm being a bit lazy. I'm not putting in B-roll right now because this is a complete impromptu vlog. I didn't plan for this. I really don't have even time to edit b-roll cinematic video right now because I have so much in the pipeline. I'm sorry about that guys but I just thought it'd be better just to capture the atmosphere and I just got this new Zion Crane gimbal and I wanted to sort of experiment with the first person view on it and see if it sort of gets you into the moment here. I'm just checking out how Thai vloggers do it. <laughs> What's up buddy? Haven't been in my vlogs for a while. <laughs> So a little thing you gotta know about Simon is Simon is Norwegian but he might even be more American than I am and he might even be more Korean than I am being that he went to college in Korea so this guy, this Scandinavian guy out Korean American speak <laughs> Okay, so I'm a man of my word. I am back at this 89 by the Kings. Oh, like a little Thai sauce on it. The steak comes with a dance. Thank you. Yay! Exciting. It's um... Simon. This big guy is offering to share this little portion of steak. Nah. This is a bomb though. <laughs> it looks pretty legit, medium rare. I'm gonna have some. Yes, one more please. <laughs> okay, so we've realized that there is a big problem. Uh, you, want, you, wanna, you wanna talk about the problem? Oh, uh, we apparently can't get any beer. What do you mean? We're to figure out how. <laughs> it's a music festival with no beer. Two in one. We're, we're actually really disappointed they didn't have beer until we saw this. I think it's quite gimmicky, but I like it. She really, really, really tried to communicate with us. <laughs> Doesn't really speak English. But luckily, I know at least how to count. What are these cheese zukas? Those look pretty legit. Fries and cheese. Big, shake it big. <laughs> oh, yes. More, more. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. And there's where we'll need some editing from Ethan. But yeah, let's see here. Crunch five. Oh, how nice. That's pretty awesome. Let's, let's have uh, some bromance moment right here. Here, uh, put it in my mouth. <laughs> I hope I don't hear that again, like at least in the next couple of days. Uh, oh yeah! Oh, the cheese is good! The cheese is good! I don't know what you do with it, but the cheese is good. Thank you. <laughs> so after all the searching, We're Simon... We're gonna have some more steak. <laughs> settled for another steak. Which is not a bad option. Those are, it's like double portion. That is literally twice the portion I got. And is it twice as good? Oh yeah, because he torched it. <laughs> good stuff, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this.
I had a pretty good time out here. Simon thought so too, what do you think? I would recommend Thai food and rock festivals to anyone that's interested in uh, Thai food and rock festivals. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it guys if you are into Thai music and rock festivals we highly recommend Thai music and rock festivals uh, but overall it's just a really chill atmosphere I know I was ridiculously tired before I was out here but I thought hey if I come out here and I feel the positive energy the positive vibes I'm gonna just pick right up and that's what happened and I got all into it so I like it and it seems like a very wholesome kind of atmosphere no drugs nothing like that even the alcohol is just cider so can't really get too crazy I, and I really like this atmosphere honestly uh, so anyways if you like what you see check back with us next Saturday and until next Saturday for more vlogs from living and traveling in Asia I hope you guys have a fantastic week and stay awesome! Thanks again guys for checking out this vlog and this is a supplementary vlog so this Saturday I'll have another vlog as usual continuing with our Udon Tani series. If you haven't already done so please be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel and check back with us weekly for more vlogs about living and traveling in Asia.